Not sure which is the best CPU cooler for your Ryzen 7 5700X? Whether you're on a budget or looking to splurge, finding the right CPU cooler can be challenging. In this video, I'll break down my top three CPU cooler picks for the Ryzen 7 5700X. Each one offers a great mix of performance, design, and value for money. Price information and all coolers mentioned in the video are available in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. So let's get started. Number 3. Thermal Right Phantom Spirit 120. Best Budget CPU Cooler for Ryzen 7 5700X. If you're looking for an affordable cooler that provides an impressive level of cooling performance for the Ryzen 7 5700X, the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit 120 is an incredible choice. It competes with high-end air coolers such as the Noctua NHD15 and the Deepcool AK620 at a much lower price. Thermalrite has raised the bar high with this one, and it's gonna be tough to beat for a while. One of the reasons this cooler is so great is that it improves upon its already impressive predecessor, the Peerless Assassin 120. This new cooler from Thermalrite adds an additional heat pipe, a new fin array setup, and lower noise levels. It's available in the form of the Phantom Spirit 120, the 120 SE or SE RGB, and the 120 EVO. All three of these models are excellent in terms of cooling, but the SE is ever so slightly smaller. As for the Evo, it delivers better performance because of the powerful fans, but tends to get a bit louder. Considering that, the standard Spirit 120 is the best balance of noise levels, performance, and price. As for the design, the cooler features two 120mm high static pressure fans and seven heat pipes to effectively dissipate heat from the 5700X. RAM clearance is up to 42mm, meaning taller dims will have a harder time with compatibility. Fortunately, you can adjust the fan clip to increase the height of the front fan. Of course, that's a sacrifice you have to make with any dual-tower air cooler. Like other air coolers of this caliber, this CPU cooler is massive. It won't fit into every case, and memory clearance can be an issue for some. However, if you can accommodate it in your case, you'll be anything but disappointed. In terms of cooling, the Spirit 120 manages to match the Noctua NHD15. The NHD15 has been the gold standard for air cooling for years now, and seeing a cooler match its performance for half the price is saying something. Rest assured, this cooler leaves a lot of headroom for overclocking, and won't have any trouble keeping the 5800X within reasonable temperatures. The best part is that it achieves this performance with very respectable noise levels. In a typical case with average ambient noise, you likely won't notice the sound of the fans. As for the competition, there aren't any coolers that can keep up at this price. The closest is the Deepcool AK620, but even that costs twice as much. Cooler Master's Hyper 212 Evo is around the same price, but is nowhere near the same level of performance. Thermalright has done a great job with this cheap air cooler, and it's a safe bet for the 5700X. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 7 out of 10. Cooling performance, 8.5 out of 10. Noise, 8.5 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 9.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. NZXT Kraken 280 RGB. Best premium CPU cooler for Ryzen 7 5700X. The Kraken 280 RGB from NZXT is the latest iteration of their tried and trusted lineup that we are all familiar with. Over the past few years, NZXT has garnered a fair share of loyal consumers due to this lineup. They use Acetec patented water pumps for their liquid CPU coolers, similar to other well-known brands such as Asus and Corsair. 
However, all of this comes with a design that no other brand has yet matched. Speaking of the unique design, this is where the NZXT Kraken 280 gets its premium tag. Right off the bat, it's pretty clear that this cooler is designed with minimalism in mind, as the paint on the radiator is very well done. The tubing feels solid, no chance of accidental bendings here, and the tubes are braided with nylon material as well. The top side of the pump has a sleek mirrored finish that looks premium, especially when the system is off. But when it's running, this mirrored surface transforms into a 1.54-inch TFT LCD display. This screen shows real-time system info like CPU and GPU temperatures and can also display custom images. You can manage all these settings through the NZXT CAM software. The Kraken 280 RGB ships with NZXT's latest core RGB fans, offering improved performance and RGB lighting emission compared to the previous generation's ring-designed RGB lighting. This enhancement is particularly welcomed by gamers who prioritize RGB and aesthetics. Personally, I wasn't a fan of the previous-gen RGB ring fans as well. Talking about the previous gen, the Kraken 280 is the latest iteration of its predecessor, Kraken Z and X lineup. This time around, NZXT has omitted the X and Z naming schemes. They've also replaced the Infinity Mirror design with a customizable display on the new lineup. In terms of hardware, not much has changed, as the Kraken 280 uses the same Asetek Gen 7 pump as its predecessor. While a Gen 8 pump would make more sense here, the cooler still performs well, so this isn't a deal breaker. In terms of compatibility and ease of installation, it supports AM4, AM5, and even Threadripper TR4 socket, sold separately. On the blue team side, it supports Intel's latest 14th gen LGA1700 socket and is backward compatible across the board. Installation is extremely easy since NZXT has replaced the USB port on the pump with a new unique cable known as the breakout cable, which essentially breaks the connection into the pump, fan splitter, RGB hub, and USB connections. Also, the 27mm thick aluminum radiator is appreciated. Since it isn't overly thick, you can easily fit it into any case without issues. Lastly, with the help of the included manual, it won't take you more than 15 to 20 minutes to get this cooler up and running on either Intel or AMD builds. Moving on to performance, the Kraken 280 RGB performs extremely well with an overclocked Ryzen 5 5700X, keeping temperatures well below the safe threshold. It's pretty much clear that even if you upgrade your processor to high-end ones in the future, such as a Ryzen 9000 or Intel Core i9 series, you won't have to upgrade the cooler, as the Kraken 280 performs exceptionally well. Also, the noise levels are excellent. The 280mm variant, equipped with two core RGB fans, stays quieter than its 360mm counterpart, which comes with three fans. Despite this, it still pushes a significant amount of air through the aluminum radiator fins. When it comes to competition, it directly competes with the Corsair IQ Link H115i RGB, the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML280 Mirror, and several options from Arctic Freezer and Thermalrite. However, none of these coolers stand a chance against the NZXT Kraken 280, primarily due to its intuitively incorporated LCD display on the pump. Also, the Kraken is cleverly priced among these premium coolers. On top of that, the Kraken 280's overall design complements most PC themes with its minimalist and understated appearance. Lastly, NZXT's CAM software is also the least buggy compared to software like Corsair's IQ and Cooler Master's Master Control. 
All in all, it consistently proves to be a strong contender among its competitors, offering flawless performance at a reasonable price despite the inclusion of high-end elements such as a customizable display, full RGB fans, and wide compatibility across all CPU platforms. The only catch here is its slightly higher price tag compared to cheaper options that lack the exclusive features of the Kraken. If you are in the market for a premium CPU cooler for the Ryzen 7 5700X, this is the one to consider. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 9 out of 10. Installation, 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 7 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 1. Cooler Master Master Liquid 240 Atmos ARGB. Our top choice. The Cooler Master Master Liquid 240 Atmos RGB is the type of cooler that fits almost any PC build, whether budget or high-end. Why? Simply because its price is almost too good to be true. It delivers in performance, aesthetics, and reliability, while costing just around a hundred bucks. It's the perfect choice for those who want the best without breaking the bank, making it the jack of all trades, hence this is my top pick. Design-wise, there's a lot happening, especially when compared to its predecessor lineup. The Master Liquid ML series that had a bland and boring design. In this one, the eye-catching pump design will grab your attention the most, with its hexagon-shaped head, along with unique silver accents running inside the transparent pump cover. Users can also personalize it with available 3D printed designs on Cooler Master's website. However, the pump doesn't incorporate an LCD screen that could help display real-time hardware temperature monitoring, which might be a downside for consumers who prioritize having an LCD display in their CPU coolers. The overall aesthetic of the cooler is very subtle and uniform throughout, but the sickle flow edge fans spice things up with their translucent fan blades that also aid in better RGB lighting visibility. The fans are quiet and perform well under immense CPU loads. The tubing is solid and the pump is rotatable, so you won't have to worry about installing it correctly, unlike some previous Cooler Master models that had the same issue. On the technical side, Cooler Master is using their own proprietary pump instead of an Acetec pump, which they call the Next Gen Dual Chamber Pump. Spoiler alert, it performs exceptionally well with its large copper CPU contact plate. It also includes a user-friendly 5-point thermal paste stencil tool, making applications straightforward and error-free. When it comes to compatibility and installation, the Atmos 240 is compatible with almost all major platforms, including AM4, AM5, and LGA1700, and is backwards compatible with Intel's previous generation sockets. However, it doesn't support AMD Threadripper sockets. On the flip side, installation is easy because the radiator comes pre-mounted with the sickle flow fans out of the box. You won't have to spend time finding the right screws to mount the fans, saving 5 to 10 minutes during installation. The radiator is 27 mm thick, which is standard for these coolers, making it an easy fit for almost all case sizes. When it comes to performance, the Cooler Master Atmos 240 shines under all sorts of CPU stresses stress-free, pun intended. Even with an overclocked Ryzen 5 5700X CPU handling productivity loads, the Atmos 240 keeps temperatures cool enough to allow for even better overclocking potential. The larger CPU block aids in dissipating heat efficiently, and the sickle flow edge fans remain barely audible even under heavy workloads. 
Additionally, Cooler Master was generous enough to include the same fans as those in the 360mm variant, ensuring that the fan performance is in a class of its own. Speaking of which, the Atmos 240 is indeed top of its class, competing directly with other coolers such as the Corsair H100X Elite RGB, MSI Mag Core Liquid 240R V2, and a few options from up here and cheaper brands like ID Cooling. Among this competition, the performance potential of the Atmos 240, coupled with an extremely reasonable price tag, gives it the upper hand. The only aspect that could outperform it is a cooler with an LCD display that performs equally under a hundred bucks, which is non-existent. Ultimately, the Master Liquid 240 Atmos is truly a testament to what Cooler Master has achieved at such a competitive price tag. The cooler does everything right, specifically in terms of performance, value, and noise levels, making it an all-rounder choice for everyone out there. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 9 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. So, what do you think? Which of these is the best CPU cooler for you? Or do you think another cooler is better for the Ryzen 7 5700X? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.